Hey guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your firmware on the BY20. So if you have this showing in your DG Connect, uh, what you wanna do is close VersaWorks, close Flexi, um, and just start from basically just your DG Connect. Now, all you're gonna do is click Download, and it is going to ask you, if you have anything open, it's going to ask you, do you wanna close it? So say yes. So you'll click the Download button here, and then you're going to find where you want it to download. So I just pick like the desktop or downloads folder and then you are going to go and find that download so when you do that it's going to be this you can see by um, firmware so you're going to select that and it's going to bring up the installer so click allow and then you might have if you don't see anything look down in your menu at the bottom and you want to find this installer so click next um, and what you're gonna see is it should say going from one to point, or 1 1.6 or 1.3. Now, the sub power is the small button on the front of the BY20, not the main power switch on the left side, the small front one. So click that, and then when you have done that, you're going to click OK. So once you click OK, it's going to tell you that the firmware um, has begun to, in, has started to install. When that happens, you're going to get this um, it's going to seem like nothing is happening. I'm gonna tell you this screen right here took about five minutes. So just be really, really patient. Now, here's the real kicker. By the time this is done, you might actually get an alert that your firmware did not install, which is what happened to me. I'm gonna tell you this is actually an error, error message. So if you actually go, what I ended up doing was I tried to figure out, you know, okay, I know I need to use my IP address then, and so that can actually be found through the utility in system preferences. Well, turns out when I went in there to figure out what my IP address was, when I went in there, I, I could see that I, the firmware message in my utility was, was now gone. And so I was like, that's bizarre. I can see that it's no longer here on my dashboard. If I look at my other machines, they do have the firmware. At this point, I'm very confused. So what I did was I, I went into the utility to get my IP address. And when I did that, if it starts cleaning, just bypass that and go to system preferences. And what you can see is the firmware was actually updated. So um, check that if you're still get if you're getting that error saying that your firmware wasn't updated, it might actually have been. All right, guys, I have more BY20 videos. Check them all out so you can learn how to use your machine.